Forget Tesla. Forget Toyota. A single Chinese automaker just built a car that can travel 200 slanders kilowatt on one charge and one tank. That's three times farther than your average gas car and nearly double the best Tesla can do. This isn't science fiction. It's already rolling out and it could flip the EV industry upside down. Police car light. BYD's Twansu 100 km hybrid. The breakthrough nobody saw coming. No one expected this. The EV industry was locked in the same battle. Tesla fighting for dominance, Toyota pushing hybrids, and startups trying to survive. Then suddenly, BYD dropped a bombshell. A car that can travel 20 hundred kilometers on a single tank and a single charge. That's not just a record. That's a total rewrite of what we thought was possible. And the craziest part, this isn't a futuristic prototype. It's already hitting the roads. Think about it. The average gas car around 700 kilometers of range. A Tesla, maybe 500 to 600 kilometers before you're hunting for a charger. BYD just tripled that. So how did they do it? How did a Chinese automaker leapfrog Tesla, Toyota, and everyone else in one move? It comes down to a brand new fifth generation hybrid system. A system that's rewriting the rules of efficiency. At the heart of it is a modest 1.5L petrol engine. On paper, it looks ordinary, just 99 horsepower. Nothing special, right? Wrong. Because this engine runs at 46% thermal efficiency, the highest of any mass-produced engine on Earth. For comparison, Toyota used to hold the crown at 41%. BYD shattered that record. How? They ran 240 combustion experiments to perfect the fuel mix. They tested 100 cooling methods to stop overheating. And they raised the compression ratio to 16.1, squeezing more power out of less fuel. The result, when the battery runs out, this hybrid sips just 2.9L per 100 kilometers. That's nearly 1-3 the fuel of a normal car. The hybrid revolution. But here's the trick. The engine isn't even running most of the time. The electric motor does the heavy lifting. The petrol engine is designed to shut off whenever possible, only switching on in what BYD calls its high-efficiency zone. That means no wasted fuel in traffic jams, no pointless idling in parking lots, just pure efficiency, and buyers get a choice. Want economy? Take the 116 HP motor. Want punch? Go for the 215 HP motor. BYD is letting drivers pick their own balance, something most hybrids never offered, the powertrain overhaul. But BYD didn't stop at the engine. They redesigned the entire powertrain. Seven components once scattered across the system are now packed into one integrated controller that saves space, reduces wiring, and cuts energy losses. Efficiency now hits 92%. To put that in perspective, most hybrids barely cross 80%. BYD just jumped into performance car territory. And with a 70% boost in power density, the system is lighter, stronger, and faster to respond. The Blade Battery Now, let's talk about BYD's real weapon, the Blade Battery. Instead of using nickel and cobalt like most EVs, BYD built its future on lithium iron phosphate LFP. It's cheaper, it's safer, and it doesn't rely on fragile supply chains. But here's the twist. They didn't stack the cells like bricks or roll them like cans. They stretched them into long, thin blades, packed edge to edge with no wasted space. The payoff, 50% more energy density compared to traditional LFP packs. More power, less bulk, more room for fuel tanks, motors, or anything else. Safety first. And what about safety? That's usually the weak spot in EVs. The blade battery passed the nail test, the industry's nightmare scenario, where a steel spike is driven straight through the cell. Other batteries burst into flames. BYD's blade. No fire, no smoke, nothing. They also reinvented cooling. Instead of a T-shaped layout, they use an S-shaped system. That simple shift improved temperature control by 45%. The entire pack stays stable, runs longer, and resists wear. The big picture. Put it all together. The record-breaking engine, the hyper-efficient hybrid system, the integrated powertrain, and the revolutionary blade battery, and you get the car that just set the standard. 2100 kilometers of range, 
That's Beijing to Shanghai without refueling, Paris to Rome without stopping, Los Angeles to Denver in one go. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a reset button for the entire EV industry. So, here's the question. If BYD can deliver this kind of performance today, what happens to Tesla, Toyota, and Volkswagen tomorrow? Because right now, BYD isn't just competing. They're building the roadmap that everyone else will be forced to follow. And in this new era, it looks like the future of driving belongs not to Silicon Valley, not to Tokyo, but to Shenzhen. No one saw this coming. The auto industry was stuck in a deadlock. Tesla fighting to extend EV range, Toyota clinging to hybrids, and legacy automakers chasing after scraps. Then, out of nowhere, BYD rewrote the rulebook. A car that can travel 2,100 kilo on just one full tank and one charge. That's Beijing to Shanghai, Paris to Rome, Los Angeles to Denver in one go. This isn't science fiction. It's already here and it's shaking the entire industry. For decades, automakers have been battling over range. A normal gas car about 700 kilometers. A Tesla maybe 500 to 600 before you're searching for a charger. Now BYD shows up and triples it. Not in a prototype, not in a concept car in vehicles hitting the streets right now. So how did they do it? What's BYD's secret? The answer begins with BYD's brand new fifth generation plug-in hybrid system. This isn't a simple engine battery swap. It's a complete reinvention of how hybrids work. In older hybrids, the engine and motor keep switching back and forth, wasting efficiency. BYD flipped that design. In this system, the electric motor does most of the work, while the fuel engine only jumps in when it can run at maximum efficiency. That's how they unlock 2.9 L of fuel per 100 kilometers. A figure that gas cars and most hybrids can't even dream of. The record breaking at the center is a modest 1.5 L petrol engine. On paper, it looks weak. Just 99 horsepower. But here's the twist. This engine runs at 46.06% thermal efficiency. The result, a tiny engine that wastes almost no energy as heat, delivering more distance per drop of fuel than anything else on the market. Electric power plus options. The electric side got an upgrade too. Buyers can choose between a 161 HP motor for maximum economy or a 215 HP version for extra punch on the highway. And because the system is tuned to stay in its high efficiency zone, the engine avoids low speed idling. Crawling in traffic, parking in a garage, that's the motor's job. The engine only wakes up when it can perform at its peak. This isn't just efficiency, it's strategy, the smarter powertrain. But BYD didn't stop there. They rebuilt the entire powertrain. Seven key components, inverter, motor controller, gear shifters, and more were condensed into a single seven in one unit. That means less wiring, less weight, and less energy lost during operation. System efficiency now reaches 92%. For context, most hybrids barely cross 80%. This isn't a tweak, it's a leap, the blade battery. Now let's talk about the heart of BYD's revolution, the blade battery. Where most EV makers rely on nickel and cobalt, BYD doubled down on lithium iron phosphate, LFP. Cheaper, safer, and easier to source. But they didn't just build another LFP pack, they reimagined it. Instead of stacking cells like bricks, they stretch them into long flat blades and pack them edge to edge. No wasted space. The result, 50% higher energy density compared to traditional LFP packs. More power, smaller footprint, safety redefined. The blade battery also passed the industry's toughest trial, the nail test. Most batteries explode or catch fire when pierced. BYD's blade. No fire, no smoke, nothing. Cooling was redesigned too. Instead of a T-shaped flow, BYD engineered an S-shaped system, improving temperature balance by 45%. That means longer life, more stability, and fewer risks of thermal runaway. And here's the kicker. Even after 3,000 charge cycles, the blade battery still holds 90% of its capacity. That's years of driving with minimal degradation, aerodynamics, and efficiency. But BYD didn't stop at batteries and engines. They attacked inefficiency everywhere. 
the Chin L and Seal 6 feature active air intake grills that seal shut when cooling isn't needed. Cutting drag. Low drag brake calipers and ultra low resistance tires shave off friction. The body was reshaped for smoother airflow, dropping drag coefficients and stretching range without touching the tanker motor. The price shock. So, what do these breakthroughs mean for buyers? The Chin L and Seal 6 start at just 99 800 renminbi, about 13 sign 70. Even the top trims cap around 19 tau 290. Compare that to Tesla Model 3 over 231 900 renminbi. Toyota Corolla, hybrid 135 800 renminbi. And here's the twist. BYD didn't raise prices. The new China costs the same as the older model despite offering more range, better efficiency, and a redesigned platform. Most automakers would mark it as a premium. BYD passed the savings straight to the buyer. The market shift and they're doing it at the perfect moment. Pure EV growth is slowing worldwide, mainly because charging infrastructure isn't keeping up. In 2024, plug-in hybrid sales in China surged 85%, battery-only EVs just 12%. Tesla, meanwhile, is cutting jobs 14,000 workers in 2024 and struggling to sustain growth. BYD, they sold 4.27 million vehicles in Q2 compared to Tesla's 1.79 million, nearly four times more. This is the new reality. Tesla bet everything on pure EVs. Toyota hedged with hybrids but lost the scale war. Volkswagen is still catching up bid. They're delivering the longest-range hybrids, the safest batteries, and the lowest costs all at mass.